I don't know how many of you are aware of this, but I've been on YouTube for a very long time. This channel, as old as it is, isn't even the first channel I had. A long time ago, I used to own a channel simply known as CT757. And on that channel, I wrote and produced my very own cartoon show. I titled it Random Pookie Adventures. As you can tell, Random Pookie Adventures was a spin-off of the anime Hamtaro. The show stars Pookie, a hyperactive Hamtaro fangirl that would come up with harebrained, er, ham-brained schemes to try and get Hamtaro's affection. She would even declare Hamtaro to be her boyfriend despite Hamtaro's denial. Now I know what you're thinking. That sounds a lot like Panini from Chowder. And yes, it does. But for once in my young life, I didn't copy another cartoon. Random Pookie Adventures actually predated Chowder's debut by 10 whole months. So I expect a paycheck in the mail, Mr. Greenblatt. Anyway, as you can tell by the lovely screenshots, Random Pookie Adventures was made entirely with MS Paint and Windows Movie Maker, aka the OG kings of YouTube. The show actually had an impressive run of four whole episodes, which is amazing considering Young Me's dwindling attention span. There were also a couple of specials and shorter videos within the series. So today, I want to look back on this forgotten series. Now usually I do some riffing in between shots of the thing I'm talking about, but for this that doesn't really work. Believe me, I scrapped a whole script because it didn't work. Instead, I want to just let this series speak for itself. It's bizarre enough to stand on its own. Also, this series had a lot of copyrighted music, so I had to replace all of it with music that won't get this channel taken down like CT757 did. Rest in peace. The names of the original music will be listed on the bottom of the screen, in case you guys want the authentic experience. With that said, come along with me, won't you? Let's start with what Young Me considered the pilot episode of the series, simply titled Random Pookie Adventure, singular. Created all the way back in the magical year of 2007. A classic YouTube video. The MS Paint, the special effects, the random rainbow pookie at the end. These were the good old days of YouTube before the pressures of appeasing the algorithm with relevant content. Wish we could go back, but alas. Now we can get started with the actual show. It's time for episode one of Random Pookie Adventures. Failed attempts to get rid of Bijou. You see, because Pookie was obsessed with Hamtaro, she saw Bijou, the main love interest in the original show, as a rival of sorts. So here's an episode about her attempting to get rid of her rival. Once and for all, I guess? Anyway, enjoy an unnecessarily long opening!
you can see, I reused a lot of shots for this episode to pad for time. Also, that wasn't exactly an adventure, since all of the action was just in Pookie's head the whole time. Maybe the next episode will have more of an adventure, I say as if I don't know what's going to happen already. The next one's a two-parter! That's right, we're already breaking up plots into multiple episodes. This is the Hamtaro's Bodyguard Saga, where Pookie wants to be Hamtaro's bodyguard. But why? According to the first episode of this saga, Hamtaro and friends are actually famous actors, which explains Pookie's fangirl behavior. Fun fact! The plot of this episode was thought up by my sister and best friend, Saki McGee. For the sake of your sanity, I'll go ahead and skip the incredibly long intro. about that montage, huh? We got dancing, kind of, newspaper effects, things that never happened for 300 Alex, and a random Pachirisu for good measure. Why? Even I don't really know. On to the next episode! <laughs>
Once again, we got a big stinking cop out with the dream sequence. Love that one of the ninja pictures is just a picture of Pookie reused from episode 1. The Pookie mobile was a nice touch, adding the random in random Pookie adventures. We've got a very special episode lined up for the final episode of Random Pookie Adventures. This one involves young me using a microphone for the first time! Yay! And guess what? We get a new character in this episode as well! Meet Poke. She's Pookie's right-hand man, er, ham. She's not as kooky as Pookie, but she does go along with all of her wacky schemes. Plus, she's a Cappy fangirl. Unfortunately, a brand new character also means a brand new intro that you have to sit through and enjoy! today we all got voices yes how did you know Hamtaro where did you go Bijou help me what's wrong Hamtaro stay away boyfriend stealer Suki you're so weird he's my boyfriend I'm not your boyfriend yeah now I'm out of ideas for this episode what about me Wait, what? Uh, I don't know. Go stalk Cappy or something. Okay.
boy, that was a rough one. Once again, barely an adventure. Just Pookie and Poke and the rest of the cast getting basically the same voice, and hijinks ensue. Gotta love the fake whisper yell I do for Hamtaro. <sighs> and the not French accent for Bijou. What's wrong, Hamtaro? If you thought this was hard to watch, wait until the next video. That's right, we're not done. We still have three videos to go. During the production of the never-released fifth episode of Random Pookie Adventures, I wanted to make actual backgrounds for the characters to interact in, instead of just a white void. So I held a contest so that people could submit their Hamtaro OCs to be in said backgrounds. I'll let the video explain. And now, a special message from Pookie! But you already know that. Anyway, have you ever said to yourself, I wish my character was on Random Pookie Adventures? Well, it's your lucky day! My wonderful creator, CT757, wants to add backgrounds to the show. The thing is, she doesn't want to use plain, boring hamsters. Now's your chance. Make a small video about your character. Kinda like this. Your hamster could be used as a background character on the show. Your hamster could be here, here, or here. Your username will also be shown in the credits. Isn't that awesome? Now here's some information. Okay, um, first, please don't make the video exactly like the example, because then that would be really annoying. Just add, for the, for the hamsters, just say what their name is, and, um, what type of hamster they are, okay? Yeah, please don't, don't do that. Anyway, another thing, you don't have to draw the hamster, like the example. You know, you, you can still draw the hamster, or it can also be a color over if you can't really draw that well. Yeah, and another thing, please don't request where your hamster would go. Um, don't say, I want my hamster to be on the television, okay? So, don't say that. Because I want to decide where your hamster can go. Yeah, not that I'm being mean, I just, I just don't want a lot of people asking where their hamster can go. Um, and don't ask if I, c if I could, like, make your hamster talk to Pookie, so, because that would also be very annoying. So, um, like I said before, I, I, deciding where all these hamsters are going to go. Okay. And yes, your name will be in the credits. I promise, okay? And if if there aren't that many entries, maybe I might put your hamster in backgrounds maybe twice or something. And your name will still be in the credits. And I think Oh hey, you get to see one of the very first self-portraits of me! So much has changed since then, huh? What was with that ending, anyway? You can barely understand what I'm saying. I guess I was afraid of people being too demandy with their OCs. You know, because the show was so popular and stuff. Though, surprisingly, I did get submissions for this contest. 
Most of it has been lost to time, however. This next video is the only thing left from the production of the fifth episode. In the episode, Pookie was going to eat a radioactive cupcake and gain cupcake-related superpowers, so I animated a transformation scene for her. for young me and her skills, probably the best thing she's made in that time. There was a version with voice acting, but that was also lost to time. Trust me, you're not missing much. <laughs> Last video, and it's a very short Christmas special, with some animation, if you can believe it. Wow, some effort! Good job, young me. What a way to send off this forgotten show. And that's it. That's all of the Random Pookie Adventures content I ever released on my channel. I hope you enjoyed this look back on my very first YouTube show. And if you were somehow around for those times, I hope it brought you some nostalgia. Will I ever return to this series? Well, if this video does well... I'll consider it. Give this video a like and a comment if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all later.